Welcome to California Unearthed. Jeremy Tuggle and I are here in Shasta County at the Harlan D. Miller Memorial Bridge, also known as Old Highway 99 Dog Creek Bridge. This bridge has not been used since the 1970s. It was built in the 1920s before I-5 ever existed. I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what the bridge looks like and go off the edge. We are very high up in the air right now. Uh, any words, Jeremy? Just don't drop your camera. Just don't drop my camera. Your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I am currently walking down Fenders Ferry Road, about to cross over the Sacramento River towards the Dog Creek Bridge here in northern Shasta County. I am just north of Lakehead. This bridge is also called the Harlan D. Miller Memorial Bridge after the bridge designer Harlan Dewey Miller, who was born on May 6th. 1880 in Ohio. Harlan was once a one-time chief of the California Bridge Department from 1923 until his passing on October 19, 1926, just a year before the completion of the Dog Creek Bridge. Sadly, he never got to see the completion of this beautiful piece of artwork that he designed. During his short tenure as bridge state engineer, he made radical changes to the way California designed their bridges and paved the way for the design of some of the most beautiful bridges in the 1930s throughout California. The Dog Creek Bridge was built in 1927 as part of historic Highway 99 and then became part of Interstate 5 until 1974 when it was decommissioned for a bigger, faster bridge just up the creek because of increase in traffic. So much so that the state of California was going to demolish this bridge after 1974, but local residents residents fought the state of California to be able to keep it here for all of us to enjoy. It actually became a designated California historic landmark on May 29th, 1984, and it is public property under the protection of the U.S. Forest Service. This bridge here stands 124 feet above Dog Creek and is 24 feet wide and 464 feet in length. Since the bridge is on Forest Service property, it is accessible to the public. You just have to be careful that you don't go onto private property. Here are a few pictures that I took along the way. You can see the beautiful artwork of the old Highway 99 here. And as I was walking through, the deer brush was in bloom. Absolutely smelled amazing. But like I said, if you stay on the Forest Service road, you should be just fine just don't trespass onto private property. There are a number of websites if you Google Dog Creek Bridge or Harlan D. Miller Memorial Bridge that tell you how to get to either the upper part of the bridge or the lower part of the bridge. And it is a fairly easy walk to the top of the bridge. It's only maybe a quarter of a mile, less than half a mile to the deck of the bridge. All right, this is the bridge. This used to hold travelers heading north and south through Shasta County. Before I-5, this is Highway 99. And if you look off the side here, that is the Sacramento River. We're very high up in the air right now. That is Fenders Ferry Road down below there. There's a little parking spot down there. Now let's walk along this bridge to the other side. And if you know this, there are four of these cutouts in the bridge. They are seating areas, which is kind of odd, I think. But you know, here's the one on the other side. And they are both on the beginning of the bridge. The beginning of the bridge is right there. And the seating area is just past the beginning of the bridge. And then there are two more on the other end as well. And what's kind of cool is along the bridge, there's these blue tiles that still exist. 
This is really, really cool. Yeah, there is some writing on the bridge that says, kill your TV. So let's go over here to the edge once again. Sacramento River. Absolutely beautiful day out here today. A little overcast, but it's nice. You're probably asking, what's on the other side of the bridge? Let's go find out. Fenders Ferry Road and just trees. But like I said, you can see I-5 there in the distance. And we'll walk to the end of the bridge here. Once again, here's another blue tile. There's a blue tile in each one of these pillars along the railing. Another view. I cannot get enough of this view of the river and the road. Here is the other seating areas. So you know what that means? We're almost to the end of the bridge here. Take one last look over the edge. Like I said, see how high we are. I absolutely love roads and bridges, roadway history. It really fascinates me. And we are here at the end of the bridge. And as you look beyond, you can see Highway 99 continues on. This is the old asphalt. And Mother Nature has taken over the old highway. So hopefully you enjoyed this short little episode of the Dog Creek Bridge here in Shasta County. I absolutely wanted to check this bridge out for the longest time and I finally got to do it. And so I really appreciate Jeremy bringing me out here to check this out. Thank you, Jeremy Tuggle. And if you like this kind of content, smash the like button hit the subscribe button, and follow me here on YouTube. We'll see you guys on the next adventure.